And now, your first alert five weather. After our long, hot summer, today felt exceptional out there. 74 degrees. I don't think it gets better than that. And there really is no wind downtown. You can see no movement on the trees there. Light breeze out at the airport south at 14 miles per hour. Beautiful day in the Steel City as well. You're at 75 degrees right now. Just a light breeze out of the southeast. Here's your next weather maker. We have our eyes on those, and it's going to bring the, uh, another change, a big change to the state of Colorado. Could actually see some snow as this system digs down to the southeast here over the next several days. Here's the way it shakes out by Monday. By Monday morning, the front already down to the south of us. We're going to have an upslope flow at the surface. What that'll do is entice in some low-level moisture, so a little better chance of landing some precipitation around here. It is going to be about 15 degrees cooler Monday compared to what we'll have on Sunday, and it's also going to be windy once again. Here's why I don't think we're going to see a lot of moisture. This uh, main energy with the system going to pass a little too far to the north and east to be a major player here across the News 5 viewing area. I do think we have a good chance of seeing some fresh snow on Pikes Peak by late Monday night into Tuesday morning and a few light showers late in the day here Monday across the News 5 viewing area. For your Saturday, it's going to be much warmer than today. 9 a.m. temperatures into the 60s, lots of sunshine up and down the I-25 corridor. By 11 a.m., we're into the 70s, so anything you've got planned outdoors tomorrow, maybe a little league football game, soccer game, it is going to be just about perfect. Going to see a few high thin clouds push in during the afternoon hours, but it'll be dry here along the I-25. Quarter. Tonight, mostly clear skies, crisp and cool. Mostly clear with those skies tonight, so we can see that big moon. Officially, it'll be full on Monday. It's the harvest moon this month, so I'll take a peek at that. Very good sleeping weather tonight with 30s and 40s most areas. Hot stuff around here for the last weekend of summer. Good reason to fire up the barbecue grill, smoke up the neighborhood one last time. In the springs, 88 degrees on Sunday to wrap up that weekend. Here comes that cold front on Monday, even cooler on Tuesday. Morning low temperatures dropping down to 41 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Dry skies Tuesday all the way through next Friday. And in Pueblo, hot stuff, I guess, low 90s the next couple of days. Windy on Monday as that next cold front blows through. A few showers possible late. Just a one on the storm impact scale. If you're lucky, maybe enough moisture to settle the dust for a 24-hour period. Nice and cool, though, with highs only in the 70s Monday and Tuesday. Then warming right back up by Wednesday. Canyon City, dry skies over your weekend. Monday, a few passing showers possible late and then dry skies and really nice next Tuesday through Friday for Woodland Park. I think you'll see a few showers late Monday afternoon into early Tuesday morning. It'll be cold enough. You could see rain mixed with or change to snow. Not going to be much, but again, a dusting of snow possible across parts of the higher elevations of Teller County.